So see, I, I draw my top and bottom line because I hate when I see signs that it's tilting. You know, you just can't start at one end and come to the other, you know. So I do the top and bottom line. And then with some of these, I put the spacing for the letters, but I don't draw out the letters or anything. I know some guys do, but after a while, you get to know how to draw a letter. It's amazing how your hand almost, it's muscle memory, you know. I remember, I remember the day when I was learning that all of a sudden it was like a light bulb moment that it, it, it just gelled. How I held the brush and everything and my stroke, uh, it was, it just all came together. But I was in the University of Chicago Hospital for a month. Then I went to a, a rehab place for a month. I had to learn how to walk again. My speech was messed up, my memory, and on the right side of me, that's everything on the right side, my leg and everything. I had to learn, I had speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy. And I didn't even know if I could ever paint again. You know, the only thing I have, I wear this because this muscle is still weak. And sometimes if I'm doing real detail work, all of a sudden my hand will, you know, do one of these little things and I gotta keep things together. Yeah, some of this smaller lettering I'm doing in a more casual style. Because when I'm back here alone, you know, that's you just thinking. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you're under the gun, it's stressful, so to speak, you know, hurry, hurry. But, I you always know, felt it was peaceful occupation.